This is a perfect example of oak savanna. It's a native community that's characterized by a low density of oak trees and then lots of grass. Very little understory, just an oak barren, some might call it, or yeah, a savanna. This is a very common natural community in California, but also it's common in other parts of the country. It's very common historically in the Eastern Great Plains. So for example, in Minnesota, in Oklahoma, in Texas even, oak savanna was a very predominant type of natural community. So what is in common between a place like Central California, where I'm at right now, and Oklahoma or parts of Minnesota? Well, it's the prevalence of fire. Oak savanna is an ecosystem that is fire prone and fire dependent. It can only exist with fire. And it can only exist with fire because fire clears out the understory. It clears out other trees from out competing the oak and it, it keeps it nice and open and it lets sunlight reach the, reach the ground and everything like that. So uh, fire is what makes an oak savanna and also rainfall, you know, kind of dictates that as well, but uh, it's all connected. So anyways, this is a great example of oak savanna. I'm in the Kern Canyon. I think that's what it's called. The Kern River is down there. And the west slope of the Sierra are a perfect place to see oak savanna. It really is uh, a beautiful sight. Very bucolic pleasant to look at. So much of California has what is called a Mediterranean climate. It's cool, moist winters and hot, dry summers. In the wintertime or in the springtime, you would see these hills covered in green. All of the grass would be green. It wouldn't be brown or yellow like it is now. But as you can see, in the summertime, in mid-June, uh, right now it's mid-June, all of the grasses and forbs and everything, they dry out, they cure, and they become ripe to, uh, to be vulnerable. They become vulnerable to wildfire. And the Mediterranean climate helps the oak savanna persist because it's a very, very fire-friendly regime. It's a very fire-friendly climate because in the summertime, it can go months without raining. And like I said, fire helps oak, savanna, oak savanna survive. And the Mediterranean climate in California helps fire survive because the summers are extremely dry. But in the wintertime, you get a lot of growth and that growth dries and then is vulnerable to burn. So anyways, that was a very, 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 very nerdy and niche conversation I just had with myself that I recorded for you to listen to. But anyways, yeah, I do enjoy it. This is probably like one of my favorite parts of California is the Oak Savannah. How many people have ever said that? So I saw this sign for China Gardens. We're in the Sequoia National Forest and I am very intrigued, so I'm gonna check it out. There's so many names in California that are China this, China that, China camp, etc. Because the Chinese have a long history in California. They built the railroad with the Irish, practically. All right, here we go into China Garden. Still don't really know what it is. But speaking of oak savanna, it's a wonderful oak savanna. We're in the middle of another perfect example of an oak savanna. And it's a pretty fun drive. So at the crest of this little hill. There's the Kern River down there. stop here 
Yeah, again, still not clear what the Chinese garden is, but it's a beautiful spot. One thing about the oak trees in California is that their leaves are very, very, very tiny. They are sort of reminiscent of the live oaks in Texas. Live oaks mean that uh, they're evergreen. They have leaves year round, unlike the oak savannas in a place like Minnesota, where they're broadleaf, pretty big leaves, um, but they lose their leaves, or at least they turn, uh, they turn brown and they die in the fall. So now I'm just convinced that the Sequoia National Forest has the funniest naming scheme for all these locations. So what's next, a Republican one or a Mexican? So these are some pretty impressive golden grassy hills. I think these can be considered foothills of the Sierra Nevada. The Central Valley of California is one of the most impressive valleys in the entire world. It covers about 20,000 square miles and it's a huge agricultural center. They grow more than 250 different crops in the Central Valley and even though it uses fewer than 1% of the nation's farmland, it produces a fourth of the nation's food, including 40% of the nation's fruits, nuts, and other table foods.